is your brake light on but when you look at your emergency brake it's in the down position there's a reason for that it can be one of two things it could be the contact back in here that determines if it's on or not or it could also be this this is your master cylinder it's where you fill the brake fluid it'll be usually on the driver's side unless there's some type of relay if it's a Mini Cooper or Land Rover or something that has previously been right hand drive anyways you see that there's a little uh, wire going into the bottom of it Now this is a hydraulic unit there's nothing electronic about it except for one thing there's a sensor inside of there that corresponds to that wire that tells you if the uh, brake fluid's low by having the brake light come on all right these are the pistons for the caliper now the pistons are driven by hydraulics that come through this hose and that goes eventually to the brake master cylinder so not only does the fluid press on the pistons, but you can do it backwards. You can actually push on the pistons and push fluid back up into the master cylinder. So every time I go to do brakes, we're going to spread this with uh, pry bars because the pry bars give a little bit of flexibility and that way you don't mess up any of the seals on your master cylinder. So watch as I push this in. As I push on the uh, pistons, pistons it pushes, pushes fluid back up into the master cylinder now again I can't go too fast with it this way or damage anything because you know the pry bars are spring loaded they're kind of springy so there's that uh, a certain amount of tension that they apply I work kind of like a flex bar torque wrench here's another example this one here you see it says uh, brake fluid there this one actually has the sensor built into the cap so the cap uh, has some wires on it there's usually only two positive and negative it's kind of a go no go switch but uh, it's got a float just like a toilet bowl and as you push down on this you can see uh, that would be full and when it gets down to a certain level pre-described by the length of the sensor down in there it'll make the brake light come on. Same principle, different approach. See on this car we have a brake light that's on but we look at the pedal and it's all the way up and even with it all the way up, even pulling on it the brake light still stays on. And look at the brake fluid we can see that it's dirty but it's quite full so it's not too low. So emergency brake was not on and also it's not low on brake fluid so what is it in this car as we go down and you can see that the emergency brake is operated by your foot and when we look here we can see that there's a little switch you see that little spring loaded switch right there the wire to it uh, oftentimes these will fail on a ford taurus a little rubber kick stop goes up and hits that metal plate and it depresses the plunger and tells a vehicle that the emergency brake's been released allow me to demonstrate so when I go to pull on the release handle here get back so you can see see how it kicks up like that now when we look at it we can see that the metal plate is in contact with that rubber boot and the plunger has been depressed so as I push it down there it is so in this case this components failed now if you have a handbrake or a jake brake for your emergency brake, it would be the same kind of mechanism just in the center uh, console divide. <laughs>